Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning back into the Mom Life. In today's video, I wanted to put together my kids' Easter baskets for Easter. Now, this is the first time I'm doing Easter baskets. It was never really a thing growing up for me. Um, really, Easter was all about Resurrection Sunday and Jesus, if you know what I mean. And it still totally is in our household. We love Jesus. We don't even call it Easter, we call it Resurrection Sunday. But I did want to do something fun for my kids. I love doing crafts for them. I love to get them to celebrate and understand the idea of celebrating. And I got this request from one of my subscribers. Hey, Crystal, thank you for requesting this video. But because you requested it, I thought, hmm, that might be fun. So I went to the Dollar Tree. And I did not spend over $20 on all of these items combined. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have all the items laid out here on the table. And I'm just going to go ahead and start with my daughter's basket. I got her this really pretty yellow basket. And this is surprisingly a really good basket for Dollar Tree. So it's really good quality. It's very sturdy. And I love the detailing on this basket. So it's a little bit smaller than my son's basket basket because um, her items are a little bit smaller. So the first thing I am going to do is fill the basket with some of this Easter grass and I've also purchased everything here was one dollar a piece from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to cut that open. And I'm just going to lay this on the table here so I can use it as I need. And um, I'm going to use one bag of grass for both baskets. So I'm going to grab some grass here and just go ahead and pop it right into the bottom of her basket. Okay. I'm going to then use these metallic, these jumbo metallic eggs, and I'm going to fill them up with some chocolate eggs. Now we don't do a lot of candy. I just, we don't eat candy like that. Um, not only because of the sugar, but because of the toxins that's in a lot of candy. But I did want to allow them some chocolate for Easter. So I purchased two of these bags of Easter eggs. These are milk chocolate flavored um, Easter eggs. And I'm going to put them in a couple of these jumbo eggs. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna fill this up with one, two, three, four, about five eggs. This is what the eggs look like. I'm just gonna drop them in there. So that's five. Close that up. So I'm gonna repeat the same process with this egg. From the Dollar Tree, I also got her this super adorable, lovely gal fashion doll. This is so, so cute. How cute is that? I love her little chocolate skin and her little ponytail and her little ruffle dress. I just love this. So I'm gonna put this in her Easter basket. I'm just gonna stand her up in there. Then I also got her this Fuzzy Friends um, duck. This is a plush little ducky, okay. Put that on the other side. Oh my goodness, her basket is filling up. I got her some Play-Doh, or yeah, is this Play-Doh? Yeah, this is Play-Doh. Because you know sometimes the Dollar Tree has like another brand, but this is actually Play-Doh. I'm going to remove this plastic and put the Play-Doh in here. I also got her this adorable Etch-A-Sketch Doodle. And I used to love these, and she loves to write. She is obsessed with writing. So I'm going to put this Etch-A-Sketch doodle pad in here as well. And then I also got her some washable crayons. Like I said, she loves to write. She loves to color. If you pull out any writing tool, she will hunt you down until you give it to her because she wants to write. So uh, crayons were a must. <laughs> And then finally, I got her a coloring and activity book. So to go perfectly with those crayons. I'm not sure where this is gonna fit, but let me finagle it and um, I'll show you what the final result looks like. 
Okay, so this is what we got so far. I think you will love this basket and this whole entire basket was super affordable. Let me go ahead and count so that you guys know exactly how much this one basket cost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is a $10 Easter basket from the Dollar Tree. Now we move on to my son's Easter basket. I went ahead and selected this one for him. This is a nice, fun one. This is a football inspired basket and it is a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it up with Easter grass first. So we have the Easter grass inside. Then I'm going to put these Easter eggs inside of it as well. So for him, I'm going to do three of these. And he is obsessed with chocolate. I wonder where he gets that from. So I'm gonna pop these eggs in. So we have his eggs inside, as you can see. Next, I'm gonna fill it with the fun stuff. So I got him this ambulance. He loves to make ambulance sounds. He loves the fire truck, the ambulance. So I saw this and I thought this was super cute. It's just a miniature ambulance. I also got him a monster vehicle. He loves monster wheels. He's kind of obsessed. So I'm gonna put that in there as well. And these came packaged. I just cut the packaging up before the video. I also got him some Play-Doh. Then I got him these alphabet flashcards. They're for ages three plus, and they feature a different animal on each one. And these animals are animals that can be found in the jungle and not necessarily domesticated animals. So I thought it was nice for him to learn about just all the different animals that exist. So yes, I got him a box of these. I also got Elin an Etch-a-Sketch, but his Etch-a-Sketch is larger. And I think these are great alternatives to the tablets and the devices, the iPads, when you're on the road and they need something to do. So we always try to do things like this so that they don't get obsessed with technology um, to the point where they're distracted and they don't use their imagination. So these are amazing. And then finally for Elin, I also purchased a numbers coloring and activity book for him as well. This one is a little bit more advanced, um, so it fit him perfectly. And so there you have Elin's basket. Isn't this adorable? I kind of got the cards just like fighting each other, <laughs> just like fighting each other for space up here, which I think that he will love. Um, but yes. Let me go ahead and give you guys a close-up of these baskets. They are so adorable. And again, I believe this one was about $10. Like I said, I didn't spend more than $20 on all of these things. One bag of uh, the grass worked for both baskets. And I still have plenty more. And then I purchased two of these. And I didn't even finish the first one. And these are the Easter egg, the chocolate Easter eggs. So if you're looking for an affordable option for your Easter baskets this year, try Dollar Tree because I'm pretty pleased for my first time doing Easter baskets. And I am also very, very happy that I didn't have to break the bank. I had started a cart at another store for Easter basket items and it was like $40. And then I went to Dollar Tree and spent half of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my videos. Thank you again to Crystal, my subby, for requesting this and I will see you guys very, very soon. Oh, by the way, the next video will be on the screen so make sure you click it to keep watching and I'll see you guys really, really soon.